everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea, and today I have my first update for Pan of Green Gables. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab. It was created by Anna, whose channel is My Makeup Insanity, and it is all about Anna of Green Gables. So there are eight prompts, and this project started last month in February, and it runs through October for eight months to represent the eight books in the series. So because there's only eight prompts. I decided I was going to put in like longer term goal things or put in things with harder goals to hit. So a lot of this stuff is probably going to be in here the duration of the project, which I'm fine with because it's it'll help me get more use on things. And I do I do kind of have an empty for one of the prompts, but I'm going to replace it with something else since this is only the first update and I feel like it's kind of not cheating, but there's other things that I can roll in that I can get use on for that prompt. So, okay. So the first prompt is hair as red as carrots because Anne, of course, has red hair. She really, really hates it when people point it out. And you know, Gilbert's favorite, favorite thing to call her to annoy her is carrots. So that is something red or orange. And I brought in my Revlon HD Gladiolus lipstick because it is kind of in between. It's it's a ready orange is what I've got on my lips today. So this is how much I have left. And I don't know exactly what my goals were because I didn't write them down for some reason, but I'm pretty sure for most of these, I have like a soft goal to hit. And then my ultimately if I hit that goal, I'm going to keep going. I just want to at least get a minimum number of uses. So I believe I want to use this at least 30 times in this project. But if I hit 30 times, I'm not going to roll it out. I'm just going to continue to see how much more use I can get on it. So I, I don't, like I said, I only use it twice. I do have it on a tracker sheet, but I'm not even going to bother because two times isn't going to mean any movement on this. So that's the first one. Then for Lake of Shining Waters, it's something shiny. So I have this Julep nail polish in the shade Lani, which is actually what I've got on today. It is very shiny. I mean, it's not really focusing, but you get the idea. I actually, I thought it was just basically like a kind of a really thick or a dense flaky polish, but there's actually some like holographic particles in there too which just makes it even shinier so with this my my soft goal is 15 but I I want to finish this up I didn't mark it last month I don't know if I couldn't make a mark or I was just lazy and I didn't but I did use this twice including today so this is where I'm at after two uses like I said in the intro these julep bottles are I think eight mils and that yeah eight mils and that's about half of like a standard nail polish bottle so i think and this formula i mean you can see after only two uses i've already got that much gone so, so i think i will be able to finish these even though for julep this is a full-size nail polish so there's that then for the prompt broken slate where after gilbert calls her carrots and breaks her slate over his head it is something that is broken or damaged and I have this Revolution Pro highlighter in white rose it came oh look you can see all of my mess it came like this when I got it from Ulta and I just because I like two-thirds of it is still like intact with the pretty rose pattern so I haven't tried to repress it because I don't want to ruin the pattern so my goal on this I have a soft goal of 30 and then anything after that is just extra I've used this four times I do have it on today it mm, it shears out quite nicely this is pretty I mean you can see I'm really tempting fate by doing this all the time you can see that in the pan it definitely looks like it's got some pink I mean it's definitely more of an icy pink highlighter but it when you when you blend it out it really doesn't look that icy it's just it's just very pretty I like it a lot 
and I'm glad I'm using it because I think I used it once or twice after I got it, but I was so pissed off that it was broken that I never wanted to use it. So I'm glad I'm finally using it. <laughs> the next one is my borderline obsession with Gilbert Blythe because who reading the books and or watching especially the Canadian miniseries who did not have a gigantic crush on Gilbert. I know I did. So for that it is a product that starts with a G and I have another Julep nail polish. This is the shade Ginny. It is a nice blue. I used this one time and again this did have at least one use on it before I rolled it into the project so it I could have like made a beginning mark but again I was lazy and I didn't but after one use I'm right there so I think these actually have about the same yeah the lines on these are about the same this one I feel like it was a little sheerer than I was anticipating but then with two coats it was Still not maybe not quite as opaque as I like but it was fine and I do I mean it's blue so I love it so I'm making good progress in that one I think I said I only used it once but that's okay still got seven more months to go so now we're coming to puffed sleeves something bulky or excessive and I picked this glam queen mascara I think that's the name of the mascara and the company is Ruby May I don't know this is something like Lisa won a bunch of giveaways all at the same time. And she had them all shipped to my house because it was too expensive for the giveys <laughs> to ship to her. And we went through the boxes together because there was a lot of stuff. And like she let me keep some stuff. And this is one of the ones that she let me keep. And I don't know if it was just old or if this is the way it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm calling it quits. I've used, I use this every time I do my makeup, so I used it 22 times. I thought it was going to be really good for my lower lash line. This is so dry that I don't know if it's just like super old or what, but I'm just, I'm not, I can barely get anything out on my lower lashes. Like you can, there's a little bit there, but it's... I just don't like it. So I'm calling this an empty. I mean, I did use it, but this is the one that it's only been in for a month. I, I don't really want to finish this prompt yet. So I was looking around, trying to figure out what I could bring in. And I've got this. This is my Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo. This is a 28 fluid ounce bottle this is gig like this is as big as my head this is gigantic I've used it a couple of times this was the shampoo like because I I bought this and went through one of these in the conditioners like years ago bef way before Garnier was ever cruelty free and then I started buying cruelty free so then I couldn't buy it anymore and then Garnier became cruel cruelty free and I remember liking it so much that I picked it up but unfortunately, I used it at the same time that my skin was going haywire and I wasn't sure if this was adding to it or causing it or what. So I had a couple uses on it. I put it in my bathroom, like underneath my sink for months and months because neither of my sisters wanted it. And I finally, when I decided I was going to call it quits on that mascara, but I wanted to bring in something else like this is basically pretty much the most bulky excessive thing that I've got that's not in a project right now. So I used it. It seemed fine. I am going to like maybe alternate it with my other shampoos. I'm not going to exclusively use this one just in case, but all that to say, <laughs> this is what I'm bringing in. I mean, obviously my ultimate goal will be to finish it, but I don't know if that's possible in eight months, especially if I only wash my hair like maybe three or four times a week and if I'm going to be alternating with another shampoo but we're just gonna see how long I have it marked so that's where we're starting at and we'll just see how much of this I can use in seven months <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be the whole thing because that is gigantic the next 
prompt is Green Gables, which is something green. So I have this J Cat Beauty Holographic Lid Topper in the shade Wink Tink. It is green. I have worn it twice. I'm wearing it today, like tapped. I think you can kind of see it's a little bit right there. It's really pretty, but I'm... My goal for this one is to finish it because as you can see from the bottle, I haven't... I've never worn this before this project and let's see if I can find a spot if you can see how low it is because the product just like is evaporating because it's so old. So I just need to get this used up and get out of my collection and but it goes really well with like these are all green eyeshadows that I'm panning in various projects and it it looks it's got like in the bottle a little purple shift but and it's tapped over something like this. It just adds like some extra shine and some extra sparkle and it is really pretty. So two more uses on this, but my ultimate goal is to finish it. Then for Matthew Cuthbert, the prompt is something sweet because he's just, he's so, he's such a cute old man. So for that, I brought in my My Body Bakery Fluffy Lemon Clouds Foaming Sugar Scrub. I've used this twice. It was brand new when I brought it in. So that's how much two uses makes. Let's see. I also don't use this very evenly, but about down there. If I like really focused, I could get this done in a month. But with the exception of the uh, puffed sleeves prompt, bulky packaging, I'm not doing this project rolling style. So once a prompt is done, it's done. So since I have seven more months to get through this whole jar, which isn't very big, this is 225 grams. I'm really not worried about just using it a couple times a month because it'll still be done. And I'm sure when summer comes and I'm working on some more like lighter, you know, more summery scents, I'll use this more because this is very lemony and sugary and just buttery. It's just, it smells like lemon and like sweet pastry dough. It smells so good. I just love that. So this will be in for quite a while, but it's okay because I love it a lot. And then finally for Marilla Cuthbert, it is something that has a hard exterior but a soft interior like a cream blush or something like that. And I brought in my Fenty Beauty cream blush. This is the shade Peach Face. I, for some reason, I thought this was a mini. I think probably because I got it in a set from Sephora that had a mini gloss, but I think it was Misty who commented and she's like, no, that's a full size. So this is a full size. I think my goal was, my soft goal was 30. And then if I could hit pan, that would be great. I don't honestly remember, but it doesn't matter. Cause I mean, it's going to be in for the whole project. There's no way I would ever finish this in eight months, but this is what it looks like. I am wearing it today underneath a powder blush from Alamar and I've used it five times so far and I just think it's it's just a really pretty very springy shade like I mean I could obviously wear it all on its own. I do like to layer cream blushes with powder blushes just for longevity and what have you. But that is my update so far and I'm really enjoying this project. I I like the fact that there are only eight prompts because I feel like it doesn't, I don't feel like I need to like rush, rush, rush through using my products, especially because I'm not doing this rolling style and that there's not so many prompts that like you're not really getting use out of things because you want to be able to go on to the next new prompt. And I'm just, I'm very like, what's the word? I'm an English major, but I know how to, I know what words mean. What's the word? I'm very hopeful. That's not the right word, but hopefully you know what I mean. I'm very positive. I know I can't think of the word, but I, I have a good feeling about my progress in this project. That's, that's maybe the best way to say it. So I hope you go check out Anna's channel down below. I think I have her linked and Fantastic Ladies and there's a bunch of people doing this project and it's just, it's fun. 
I just love themed projects so much. So anyway, that is it for my update today. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy, having a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.